So when I first started making odd videos for the channels, advanced hero request was one of the very first things I looked at. And looking back, that video is a bit dated now, like the lighting's terrible, the camera work isn't great, there's loads of just pauses, it's longer than it needs to be. And I've worked on a lot of stuff like the editing and like little music scenes and stuff since then. I thought as well, it was like the very first video and it always gets linked to in all the newest stuff. So I thought I may as well go back and just do a reboot and just go through that one again, just to make it a bit better. If you haven't seen a previous video, then you don't need to worry about that, but it will probably be linked to the end. And if you have seen it, hopefully you'll find this one a bit better and nicer to watch. So let's just check out what's in the box for Advanced Hero Quest. And this is actually a very good copy that I've purchased second hand, which is complete and in good condition. So all of it's the original components, which is a lot better than the previous one, where it was a, a mismatch, like it was several boxes in one. To start off with, we just have the rule book. And obviously this is quite a big, long rule book as before. This is all the same. And we got the components, nicely organized. So it's, this one's got the original dice as well. It's got a pair of white D6. I think some copies came with blue. These came with white. I don't know the difference, but this one had white ones and everything else. So there's a lot of stuff like I can finally see, say for the tiles. So I've got the dead ends. I can see what all the art should be for all the dead ends. All just the corridors. Before I had to search through them and a lot of doubles and all that. And I wasn't sure which one's which, but now I have one of everything. Here we have all our figures. You know, these guys are just all ready to go. This has also helped me with what color bases you should have, even if I've got too many, obviously. So I've got four gray bases on the four heroes. I've got a lot of black bases and I've got four green bases there as well. And it was organized because all the Skavens come in sets of four. So they've all got like four different weapons. Same with the men at arms. These guys have all got different weapons in batches of four again, I believe. All the shields. Although funny enough, they actually, um, I don't know if it's the same as with the difference between the blue dice and the white dice, but the collection of shields I've got here is different to collections of shields I've seen for people selling other collections. In fact, I think they've got some shields that I don't even have. So whether it was like a print run thing or whether it was just, uh, I don't know, must be must be different print runs perhaps, or it's just everything was just all printed out and determined randomly. But here we have the classic doors on hinges. We've got here all of our map cards you can get. We're going through your adventures. All the skull tokens. I'm not gonna go through the exact number you got of each. I've already done the components video for it ages ago. We've got them. Here we have all our DM counters, wandering monsters, traps, character monsters, ambush, escape, and so on. Tokens, these are all our blue and yellow character monster tokens. We've got more tiles, so corners here. We're gonna have, uh, oh, well, they're, they're the special tiles, but there'll be a couple of T junctions. That wasn't a T junction, that's a T junction, that's the crossroad corners. All our special stuff. So they're not labelled in the back, unfortunately, but fireball pit, magic circle, throne, uh, stairs, there's a bridge, portcullis, and a crypt or a pit rather, sorry. Chasm, rotating room, and then just all of our square rooms, and there's a couple of big big rooms down there, a few other random tiles. And of course the classic folder thing. But yeah, nice and simple, that's everything that's in the box. And I guess you don't often see the side of the box, one thing there, complete adventure game, one to five players age 14 or over. I just mentioned that because one of the previous videos, someone was asked about the age range for it, because obviously the original Hero Quest was nine plus or 10 plus, depending on the edition you had. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. It was just a quick reboot. You know, the old one was like, stuck in my old back room, really yellowy lighting, lots of pauses, the sound probably echoey and not very good. So hopefully this one's slightly better and maybe more useful, maybe just as unuseful, who knows. 
At least this one's got me a better copy, so I've got a better count of some stuff. It doesn't really matter because I don't plan on doing another components video. I've already got one up. But at least now I've got an actual count if anyone ever queries and goes, oh, exactly how many shields or green bases or whatever. So I know. And this was a bargain copy to get as well because it came with a base game with some extra printed stuff and that. So it's really good. Anyway, now it's the video end, so we've got rid of that stupid subscribe thing. If people like to, they do. I'm not forcing it on anyone. But now you have links that will appear. I'm going to announce those links. And also you have a little bit of music and a title screen whenever I choose which one is going to be there. But thanks for watching. Hope to catch you soon.